Welcome. I'm Sister Angela Ann Zakowski, uh, the director of the Institute for Pastoral Initiatives here at the University of Dayton. And, and for the past 20-some years, I've been working in the Caribbean, as many of you know, uh, with our Caribbean School for Catholic Communications and other projects. This particular project is associated with the Antilles Episcopal Conference and with Cygnus. It is the implementation of the new pastoral letter on communications, new ways of being church in a digital milieu. The University of Dayton has collaborated with the AEC and Cygnus to create this e-seminar that you're going to be participating. This is a very exciting e-seminar because it really is bringing us together from many dioceses from throughout the Caribbean to begin to think together to find ways how we can collaborate in the way of more stronger solidarity, a stewardship of our limited resources, and a kind of new synergism to help all the dioceses implement a strategic plan for integrating pastoral communications into all the ministries of the diocese. Our e-seminar is only three weeks and it will go very quickly. So the first thing I'm going to encourage you to do, which I have through emails, is to make sure that you go through the, the e-seminar once you are able to link in, and Richard sent you a message that now you could link in. Make sure that all of the videos of the bishops you're able to open, all the PowerPoints that I created, and so that you will be able to really keep step with as we move ahead. Each week, it's very simple. There's a few articles, not all the articles, but a few articles from the Antilles Episcopal Conference pastoral letter for you to read and reflect upon, a video from one of the bishops, and perhaps a PowerPoint. There are two discussion boards for each of the sessions each week, and the questions on those discussion boards relate to the reading and to the video of the bishop. Hopefully, as we go through each week, you will be building a knowledge about what the Integrated Pastoral Communications Plan is, why it exists, and what the expectations are. By the end of the e-seminar, you should begin to have a draft of the different phases of the pastoral planning initiative. So there is a research phase, a design phase, implementation phase, and an evaluation phase. Hopefully through our e-seminar, you will become familiar with how you will begin to plan and develop your integrated pastoral communications plan for your diocese. I will be with you all the way, perhaps sending you more videos, but if you have any questions, please make sure that you contact me. And finally, we have shared this pastoral letter with others around the world, in Asia, in Africa, in Latin America, and in Europe. They are so exciting about this pastoral letter. They're eager to see how we're going to implement it. So I want to make all of us proud that we were able to find a new way to integrate pastoral letters into the life of the church. So together we are pioneers, and I'm looking forward to our time together. Thanks for joining us with this e-seminar.